everybody. Welcome to A. Radeski Genealogy. My name is Angela Radeski. I'm taking you on the road again. We're heading out to the Augustine Beach Hotel near Port Penn here in Newcastle County, Delaware. The hotel was built back in 1814. There's a lot of historical information and a lot of interesting things we'll see, so stick around. Welcome back. Um, I am now inside the Augustine Inn, or also known as the Augustine Beach Hotel and Augustine Hotel. There's many names that I've heard. Um, this is Tommy. Tommy um, has been gracious enough to tell us some, some of the history about the inn, and he's also going to share some history about the BFW and the members that are currently here and what it is that they do um, in the community and within this building. So, Tommy, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell us about the end? About two years ago, the NFW, who's 838, moved in here. And we have a lease on the building. And we're trying to renew the building and bring it back to this beautiful how it was. Right. How it was 202 years ago when it was built. Where we're standing right now is 202 years old. We have an addition that we're going to be walking into in a little while. Okay. And it's 152 years old. Okay. Watch your little snack. It's it's haunted. I've talked to a number of people who saw a little girl running around here. In fact, oh, okay. in fact the guy that built the bar, and I'm sorry, but I forgot his name. Uh, he built the bar, and while he was building it, at about 11 o'clock at night, he was the only one in here, and he felt something tugging on his shirt. And he turned around, and didn't see anything. He tugged again, he turned around, there was a little girl, and she walked away from him. Oh, he saw her walk away? Yeah, she actually walked away. My son lived, my son lived here for the better part of a year. Uh, he was downright scared half the time because he would hear noises and people walking around and everything. So, so the place is definitely haunted. Ghostbusters was in here and they did do a documentary on it. Oh, they did? Yes. Now, when was that done? About three or four years ago. About four years ago. In fact, my daughter's trying to get a copy of that, although it is on view. Or, I don't know. On YouTube? On YouTube. Okay. It is on YouTube. Uh, we've been here for just about two years now. On November the 1st, that weekend after that, I think it's November the 5th, or Sunday, we're going to have a little uh, gala celebration. And we made two years. Last year was tough because Route, one, or Route 9, the bridge was actually uh, shut down for the better part of the year. We lost a lot of our lives and we're struggling now, but we're making it. And we've gone from 150 members to well over 300 now. That's huge. And we have people coming here, they love it. And the main thing they love about this place is, is family. Everybody that comes in here is we thank them for coming in. And I'm finding out about 90% of the people coming in here are eligible to join. Now all you have to be is a, have a blood relative to serve them for you and you can get into our auxiliary. So you don't have to be someone that was actually in a foreign war, you can be a descendant of a, yes. a member that... Father, grandfather, uh, 
daughter, son. Okay. That's an interesting piece of information that I know a lot don't know that you don't actually have to have been in the form. You can be a descendant. This just came out a year ago. Okay. And what it is now is once you join, once you join the VFW, you can go in any VFW post in the world. And, 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 and enjoy and partake. I know I've, I do a lot of biking myself. And I know I've pulled into VFWs in New York State, Western Pennsylvania, with a tent and say, hey, I need a place to you know, put my tent. Oh, you can go right out back, Tommy, no problem. <laughs> in fact, the first two beers are on us. So, you drink two beers, you don't want to be on the bike anyway, so it worked out perfect. No, that's true. You want to be safe if you've been drinking your beers. You don't want yep. to be yep. out. Yeah. Right. Two beers, two wheels. <laughs> now, this building was built in 1814, correct? Is that yes. when the Augustine yes. was constructed? Okay, yes. it was in 1814. And if I am correct in reading, you've provided some um, information here on the building. Um, and this was... This was actually produced from the University of Delaware. Hey everybody, he real quick I want to let you know, I'm uh, standing here at the bar now with uh, uh, two gentlemen yep. and one of the gentlemen was here from the area and he knows a lot of stories about the building. Oh, both of you are from the area, okay, sorry. <laughs> so I, your names again? Mark, Bill Mark. Bill Marshall? Jerry Morris. And Jerry Morris. Nice to meet you both. And. Um, we're on the channel here, and I'm going to ask you some questions about the history of the building and the history of the community itself, okay? So, you and I were talking just a minute ago um, about the tunnel. There's supposedly a tunnel that goes. Do you know anything about a tunnel? No, I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's what a refreshing memory. Okay, what do we know about the tunnel? What I heard was my oldest brother, Bob Jr., when he heard he was in high school in Dollar City, came down from the newspaper and that would have been, you loaned it in the early 50s. It was part of graduating in 1948. Tommy Yes. Tommy anyway, he, he went down in the basement, which is underneath the main building, not that additional side. And it was there, and he went in, but it had all the cake in. That's where it did go. Supposedly, it went out to the river as part of the Underground Railroad. That's because we have Van Nichols old house. Part I don't know right the Underground Railroad. Van Nichols? Yes, Van, that's the Underground Railroad we're talking about. Okay. The tunnel was for the purpose of bringing the slaves through there and they stayed here until they moved them off the town and on up to fill in and out, you know, eventually the camp. Well, they had a the house to move past it when they used the auctions. Yes. But I've seen no written no no record. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear that. Well, I've seen the salaries on there. Kent Murphy owned this for a while, took me down and showed it to me and it was blocked over. So, it's, it so right. it's down there but blocked where you believe the tunnels are at. The last yeah. time I was shown by him, yeah. This land here. Right. Went all the way down to that driveway. Okay. Up the next one. Thanks to Rick Farmer. Okay. Mr. Right. Chad Rick Farmer. They also own um, Green Island and the north end of Godon. They called it Godon, but they had one goat. It was called Godon? Well, yeah. goat. 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 Okay. All right. Who knows all the powers on my name? Yeah. That's Jersey. Okay. Okay. Wild goats. Wild goats. Wild goats. Yeah, wild goats. 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 Notes? Okay. So I have a question. One of the other things that I heard about was this building was there was a speakeasy. A speakeasy? 
speak easy in this building? Mary's Lounge. Mary's Lounge? Is that what it was called? Mary's Lounge? Uh, Speak easy. Uh, Greg, what do you mean by speaking? Well, that was that's my going, question. Right. Oh, yeah. Downstairs. I mean, was it? I understand. Okay, but it was, was it a pro? Was it? No, it was later in years. You're talking about how it was Right, that's prohibitioning the prohibitioning where you couldn't buy beer or whiskey. I don't know anything about any illegal drinking here. Okay. Downstairs was just a. It was a. Very hot in there. Yeah. Very hot in there. She just sold beer and drinks and so But it was really more like a. Kind of like a, a dark hole in the wall. <laughs> now, I heard a rumor there was a guy who rode a horse down the stairs down below. Yeah, who was that? Uh, um, he got on horseback. Yeah, Ronnie Smith. Yeah. Ronnie Smith? They were right up behind the museum and it was for a while. I remember that. That wasn't that long ago? Yeah, that was in the 70s. They were drunk in here. <laughs> a while and I in reading some of the information um, this was a hotel at one time or, but it's, I guess it's been a hotel a couple times this land has been used for uh, a fair or a carnival or an amusement park well, we have an amusement park out back we have a park on the side yeah. okay. and there was a uh, racetrack back there a, a racetrack a racetrack I was first time yeah. Are you serious? Third track. Uh -huh. Still there. Like you've got three. So there's a, a racetrack. Oh, you have a... That's a merry-go-round. Oh, this is the merry-go-round. Here's a picture of the merry-go-round. And he was just telling me that there was a race car track the size of Bristol behind this building. Well, back that way? Back to that way half. Stand, the stands oh, are okay. still back there. Oh, the stands are back there still. Well, the foundation to the stands. Oh my gosh. There. So this whole area you had, there was a lot of activity going on. This was a destination spot for families. Yeah, but they never brought America around down here in 1949. 1949, okay. There were excursions. <laughs> yeah, there was two two boats came here. The Thomas Clyde. Yeah, that's a picture of it. And we dock out here. Now, you guys, I'm going to take pictures of these and share them on my website so you can take a closer look at them. Yeah. Thomas Clyde. Yeah, out here on the island, the doctor lived, and that was a picture of his place. Now, where did he live at? Just yeah, directly on the island. Yeah, the island. Yeah, no, he was. Uh, he already had. Uh, Quarantine station, what it was called. The quarantine station there was a naval air, a naval base. See, I'm learning things. You're learning things. My father, my father, was kind of one of these joints. They had places. Swing in this region. The young naval base. Years ago, when the sub was a quarantine station, all the ships there come up had to stop there and there you had to dig they had to go somewhere they had to big hospital big round rubber flexible hoses and they would put that down inside of the cargo bags and had machines and they would pump sulfur they would go insects and if the people or anybody was sick they had to take them and keep them there and quarantine them so they would put Big hospital. <coughs> it was a big hospital? Yes. And it was a naval hospital. Uh, right. It was a yeah. government. Okay. Right. See, land used to belong to the government. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm looking across the way to go. Okay. See, he knows the truth. And he's always a woman. Right. The whole thing. The whole thing. You know, Kelly's bar, you know, this, and I don't have much 
down the steps into here and that's the area where the story was the gentleman rode a horse down and rode it down here <laughs> so I'll do a little bit more research and find out more about some of the rooms that are down here I know there's some history and uh, I'll make sure to put it on the website so you guys can follow up and see what else is what else I found out okay guys I want you guys to know right now there was the discussion earlier about there being a tunnel from this building out to the river and it possibly being used for the Underground Railroad. Um, sad news is this has all been redone here and this was the area that the wall would or the tunnel would have been at. But I'm going to do some more digging and see what I can find out because it would be really interesting to find out this was actually um, an area that was a stop on the Underground Railroad. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video from Augustine Inn. And I'm sure you've come away from watching it with just as many questions as I've got. Um, 
You know, was it a stop on the Underground Railroad? Was there a speakeasy down below? Um, who were the owners of the house? How many of them were there? Who was this Tommy Texas? And what's up with the race car track that was out back the size of Bristol? So um, I'm going to be doing some more research and I will be posting again some follow-up information that I find out about the Augustinian. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So remember to give me some thumbs up. Click those buttons down below. Uh, share. Leave me some comments. And if if you like the channel and you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.